Hi, it's Ms. Moore from the Metuchen Public Library, and I'm here with Take 5. Today we will be reading from Chapter 5 of Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Chapter 5. His eyes snapped open, hammered open, and there were things about himself he knew instantly. He was unbelievably, viciously thirsty. His mouth was dry and tasted foul and sticky. His lips were cracked and felt as if they were bleeding, and if he did not drink some water soon, he felt that he would wither up and die. Lots of water, all the water that he could find. He knew the thirst and felt the burn on his face. It was mid-afternoon and the sun had come over him, and he cooked while he slept, and his face was on fire, would blister, would peel, which did not help the thirst, made it much worse. He stood, using the tree to pull himself up, because there still was some pain and much stiffness, and looked down at the lake. It was water, but he did not know if he could drink it. Nobody had told him if you could or could not drink lakes. There was also the thought of the pilot. Down in the blue with the plane strapped in the body. Awful, he thought. But the lake was blue and wet looking and his mouth and throat raged with the thirst and he did not know where there may be more water he could drink. Besides, he had probably swallowed a ton of it while he was swimming out of the plane and getting to the shore. In the movies, they always showed the hero finding a clear spring with pure sweet water to drink. But in the movies, they didn't have plain wrecks and swollen foreheads and aching bodies and thirst that tore at the hero until he couldn't think. Ryan took small steps down the bank to the lake. Along the edge, there were thick grasses and the water looked a little murky. And there were small things swimming in the water, small bugs. But there was a log extending about 20 feet out into the water of the lake. A beaver dropped from some time before with old limbs sticking up almost like handles. He balanced on the log, holding himself up with the limbs and teetered out past the weeds and the murky water. When he was out where the water was clear, he could see no bugs swimming and he kneeled on the log to drink. A sip, he thought, still worrying about the lake water. I'll just take a sip. I hope you liked that part of chapter five from The Hatchet by Gary Paulson. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.